Welcome back with us, folks. I find it a lot easier to trade with a watch list on than trying to improvise when the market opens. And in this video, we will dissect this morning's watch list in order for you to understand what I was looking before the market and how it performed during the market. So basically, we will probably cover a bit later, uh, not in this video, in the following one, uh, how to start your own watch list. But maybe if we analyze what was in this morning's watch list, you'll be able to understand what I was looking for and uh, why I was looking at certain, certain tickers. So basically, this is the watch list that was posted in the option watch list section channel. Um, Basically, you see that uh, I'm just mentioning the fact that we still have Google, Facebook, and Amazon that are reporting um, the actual weight of them in the current market is pretty high. So obviously, the market will probably react to the upside or the downside, depending on how they do on earnings. And then I'm talking about um, a probable reversal on SPY. Why? Because we are very close to the 200 EMA and 50 uh, EMA is climbing up. And when they start crossing on the one hour chart that I'll show you a little later, well, we are in the mid 442s. And basically we are looking at some sort of a, a, bear, a bullish reversal and a move back to the upside. Then I talk about ISRG. Why does ISRG come up here? It was it reported not long ago. Um, it had a gap down and it was recently, well, this morning was upgraded. And if you look at top, uh, top morning uh, upgrades and downgrades, and you'll see that ISRG was among that list. So I always look at the list of top um, upgrades every day. And this morning, whatever what whatever happens to, to ISRG, I'm not really concerned about the upgrade on it. I what I do is I pull up the chart and I see what could be happening. And I'll show you that in a second. And then on that same list, it was Beyond Meat. And Beyond had a double upgrade from underperform to outperform, which is a double upgrade from a an analyst. Um, the other one on the list was Neo. Uh, Neo came came out with the mm, pretty sure it's called the ET5, the new uh, prototype, and it looks promising. It was also um, on the list because a, of a pattern I was watching on the one hour chart, which was a inverted head and shoulder, and it looked like we could go bullish. Now, all this can, is if we go up um, with the help of SPY breaking the line of four, mid 442s like I just mentioned in the first place. So this makes, makes it a um, a nice morning for, for the rest of our plays. Now this is what I showed you uh, in the um, in the uh, option watch list. This is SPY looking at the one hour chart and see how there is a defined line. This is not uh, this is pre-market. This chart was taken pre-market. So there's a defined line where we are sitting right there. I show you the 200 EMA and why we're looking at this pre-market. Basically, we are on a line, the line where you see the yellow line, is an old resistance that was that used to be support and now it was act, acting as resistance. Once we break that, we move over back to the Bias side of thing. Basically, what I think like to think is all the sellers are gone, and now it's back to the buyers to be part of this game. Um, I also told you about ISRG. ISRG was moving. Um, look at the same thing. Yellow line, old support. It dropped after mar after um, earnings. So basically, on the daily chart, you can't really see see it here. There's a gap. On the way down to the uh, 200, uh, sorry, to the uh, 290, 292, I believe, to the upside. So basically, there's a good upside potential on this. We took next week's expiration uh, soon after the bell, waiting for confirmation of a break of 275.78, just shown here. Basically, it's the old support. See that on the left? Then it became resistance. 
and once we cross that we move to the upside the other one i was looking at is beyond meat beyond meat had a, a very nice start of the morning um, you see that it was up almost five percent before the bell but look how this 59 or very close to 59 line used to be support so basically what i'm seeing is if we cross over this line um we will step on the buyer's side so looking at this if we cross 59 58.99 as we are already pre-market it looks very bullish so put an alert on that line and if it does you know you're on the good side because on a monday like it did today uh, we can start moving quickly um and the other one was neo i told you they had a new prototype coming out that looked promising that was well accepted it was it had a recent bottom uh it looked like a inverted head and shoulders with resistance uh right at 20 uh, 2162 which used to be old support so basically same thing we're going to cross over that step on the buyer's side and it will look pretty so um this was pre-market pretty much looking at this pre-market uh you set your alerts at the levels that i'm showing and this this is how you start your day so this is how the day went for neo it just broke out above the line that we should just showed you and it just took off see that inverted head and shoulders it broke the line and it took off this was a very decent move you know it's up 17 percent from the close on on friday this is an excellent move it ended up being a um, a good good one to have on the watch list this one is isrg uh, this one we alerted for next week's expiration because sometimes it just doesn't move as much as we we would uh would like to so give it time to move to uh across the um the uh the gap that it has to fill to the upside but the 275 line just got broken obviously it, it went intraday to 285 ish so you know ten dollar up is a very decent uh amount of uh, move for isrg and we're still in this one which is uh very uh it was very nice to have in the watch list and beyond meat we we told you the 59 ish line to cross we crossed this one pretty much right at the gate we alerted a minute after the uh the bell why because we already know we are on the bull side of things on the bullish side um if you don't plan this ahead you're there's a lot of guesswork and when you know ahead of time just like we prepped in the watch list well you know that this this used to be resistance we are breaking above we are expecting this whole line to to, to stick and to remain resistance uh, sorry support so basically if we break under uh this is the stop line however we started moving quickly to the upside and if you see it took uh 15 percent intraday from the close but um we took the 65 calls and we are well above 100 percent on this one uh intraday um the this is just final result on spy you see the 200 ema that i i, I mentioned uh this is the line that was pre-market it broke to the upside so basically breaking resistance was giving the chance of, for the market to move on the uh to, to the uh on the bull side of things so basically knowing ahead on your watch list be prepared and this will eventually um be a lot easier than watching everything move to the upside because many tickers were climbing you talk about uh, nvidia you talk about tesla talk about netflix all these guys started moving to the upside very quickly and without a plan it's very hard to follow yes i was watching netflix however um it, it when i started to realize it it was a little too late it could have been in my watch list as well i like to narrow it down to 
things that I'm well prepared ahead of time and then it makes it a lot easier to execute the right thing at the right time. So I hope you guys are learning something and we'll continue this one on how to start the watch list from scratch. But make me, I hope this one um, makes you understand a little more of how I got prepared on this day. Stay tuned, folks. Have a good one.